So with everybody, this is Beastars, Barbastar TV. Uh, I was actually going to let y'all see me do this from uh, scratch. Actually, let me let you see me do it from start. But uh didn't get a chance to do that. But this here is just pretty much a freestyle. Uh, I just jumped into it. Um, pretty much just started going. You know, and then really put no thought into it. I don't normally think, you know, when I do freestyle design, I don't really have to. I just jump into it. That's really the beauty of being you know, a whole freestyle is to um, pretty much jump into it and just go, you know. Uh, this here is one of my clients I've been having for a long time, Mr. Ralph Davis. Uh, very loyal client, ladies and gentlemen. Um, been down for, for some years. Um, it's just, you know, like I said, a freestyle design, just showing y'all what it's like. You know, me jumping into it, just doing it. You know, you get a chance to see me do it live. Um, very creative here, uh, artistic. It's all art. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to do it in mm -hmm. what, What's the time on it? 2.5. Keith is doing a lot of these designs. I don't know to tell people this, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, when you're doing a freestyle design, never trap yourself in. What I mean by that is, however you start it, always make sure it's an in entrance and there is an exit. You know, never, never block yourself in. Always leave. You know, it's space open for you to do any type of uh, creating. That's what helps you uh, be able to uh, be more open-minded about the design itself. You never want to trap yourself in to where you feel like the design is finished. The only thing that determines whether or not the design is finished is if the client tells you they only wanted a certain size. It has nothing to do with the detail um, of the uh, design. It's all particularly up to the, the person and how um, big they may want it to be that actually determines the completion of the uh, of the design itself. Just a little FYI, just so y'all know, so y'all, well, you know what you're saying now. If a client tells you that they want it to be, you know, not so complex or kind of simple, then okay, yeah, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of, you kind of close mind about it, but mostly, you know, they want you to
freak it out. They need to freak it out. There's no, um, pretty much there's no stopping. Until they tell you, hey, you know, I don't want it to be like this, and you just keep going or whatever. So even even as you go, I mean, it's just little things you can also do to enhance the design itself. You know, there's really no. It's really hard for me to bring a design to an end because I just like going and going and going. But fortunately, Mr. Ralph Davis is not going to allow that to happen. This this haircut, <laughs> you know, but. Good. We're gonna do what we can with what we got. Oh, look at that. Right now, basically, what I'm doing is the design is already completed. I'm pretty much just fine tuning it, enhancing the complex parts about it. Because what really amazes people about hair design is when they can look at it and try to figure it out and really can't figure it out. You know, um, if anybody looks at it and says, oh, that, that haircut looks boring, or that design looks boring, then the barber itself probably didn't put a lot of creativity into it. So, yeah, it, it does make a difference when you uh, express your creativity. And you do make it complicated for people to really figure out with the naked eye. See, they'll have to stare at him probably for hours to figure this out, and they still wouldn't get it. But they're not supposed to. Because it takes the form out of it once you already saw it. Thank you.